What is up YouTube? In this one, I'm gonna show you how you can find the BPM or tempo of a song or of a beat using Ableton Live Lite, coming up. Welcome back, my name is Jack. Thanks for tuning in to this video. If you're new here, it's my goal to help creative music makers make better music at home. Like I said, this video is gonna be a quick little tutorial on how to use Ableton Live Lite or Ableton Live Standard or Suite, basically any version of Ableton Live to find the BPM or tempo of a song or a beat. But before I get to it, please do subscribe, hit that bell to stay up to date on all my future uploads. But without further ado, let's get in to Ableton Live. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is open up a new instance of Ableton Live 10 Lite. Like I said, this will work in any version of Ableton, but we're gonna use Lite because it's the most easily accessible version. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and drag your beat or your song onto the timeline of your new session. All right, so once you have your source material in the session, you wanna do a couple things. You'll notice first off in the top left-hand corner that the tempo is default, that's our 120 tempo. And let's go ahead and turn on the metronome and just see how it lines up with our track. So for sure, right off the bat there, you can hear it's not lining up. Now this is a short little beat. You might have a longer one, but it'll work the same. The next step I want you to do is double click on the track and make sure that warp is not on. Now you wanna make sure this is off because when we change Ableton's session tempo, you don't want the track itself speeding up or slowing down. So make sure warp is off. Then from there, you wanna zoom in and find a downbeat on the track. For this example, it's pretty easy because the downbeat starts right here, right at the beginning of the file. But if you had a longer track, that maybe faded in or didn't have a strong downbeat at the beginning, it's okay to fast forward to a chorus and find that downbeat. So for example, I'll actually use this downbeat here. And what you wanna do is zoom all the way in to the start of the downbeat, which is right about here. And then you can hit Command E and then delete everything before that. So right now you've got a clean downbeat starting right at the beginning of the file. From there, you wanna drag it to the beginning of a measure. And now what you wanna do is listen to the track and count out exactly four beats or one bar. And then from there, you want to find the downbeat of the next bar. So for me, that's going to be right here. So basically, this guy is going to need to equal the size of one measure. So all we need to do is speed up or slow down the tempo to make that segment as long as one measure. So if you remember where the downbeat of that second measure was, it's right here. We lined it up to the downbeat of our next measure. We're starting on nine. Let's listen to that and see how that sounds. All right, and you'll see that 87 is the tempo of this beat. Pretty darn easy. Now, of course, this isn't the only way to find the tempo of a song or a beat or to sync the session to an already existing track, but I have found that this is the fastest way to do it and it tends to work pretty easily for me. And if you did it right, everything should be synced up to the master tempo in your session. Well, that is all I got for this one. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If it provided value to you, please let me know in the comments below. Do hit subscribe with those bell notifications on to stay up to date. And if there's any kind of video you'd like to see next, please do let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for more suggestions on videos you'd like to see. Also, a super quick shout out to all of you who have already subscribed. The channel just hit 400 subscribers and I am super grateful for the growth I've seen thus far. If you are a subscriber and you're watching this video, please drop a comment below and let me know you're watching. I would love to get to know some of my subscribers a little better. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next upload. Peace.